Hi everyone, and welcome to the second and final bonus video for my Link's Awakening series. As you can see, this is in fact the black and white version of the game, because this video is going to focus on some of the glitches that are in this one, which aren't in the DX one, because even though I did the main playthrough on DX, I think some of the things in this are definitely worth showing off, they're definitely cool enough. So, you know, a lot of people who have played this game, or even those who haven't played this game, have probably heard about the biggest glitch in this one, it's called the Screen Warp Glitch. Basically, if you move towards a screen like this, obviously it transitions. If you bring up the map screen, just before you touch, like, just as this transition just starts, it will move him to the next screen, but he'll retain the position that he's at on this one. Like this. So it moved me to this screen, but I'm still all the way to the left. Now, it's pretty obvious right off the bat that you can pretty much break the game a million times over like this. Like, I can cross this gap again just by doing the same thing back. It's going to take a few tries. You need to be right at the edge of the screen. So I knew that worked because I saw the light like moving, and I'm going to show some of the applications of this glitch in this video. So, you know, most of them aren't really useful, most of them are just things that you can do for fun. Like the first one that I'm going to show, and I actually made a mistake in the previous video. I said that um, you can never see the trendy game guy pointing downwards, but you actually can in here. I forgot to use the same sprite for the guy that owns the raft shop. Just because I never went to this in the main playthrough, so I, I kind of forgot about that. Anyway, so... Oh yeah, another thing that I want to point out about the original version is when you're talking to most people in this game, really the only exceptions are like the owls, I think, and maybe a few other things. If you press B, it'll just cancel the text box. And this obviously means that you can't select yes for the raft, but... Oh yeah, I've already paid for him, never mind. <laughs> I forgot I already did that off screen, so yeah. Anyway, my point was that you can skip a lot more text in the black and white version, which is really cool. No idea why they took that out. So I'm going to get on the raft, and I'm not going to actually go to the raft course. I'm just going to come a couple more screens to the left. And now that I'm here, I'm going to do the screen warp glitch. Yeah, okay, so I did it. I got onto land with the raft. Which is completely useless. It just really slows you down. Sometimes it gets stuck like that as well, but... Let me just see if I can bring it back. Okay, so I'm on the raft again. I can take it with me here. I'm going to get the Pegasus boots out, because he's just moving... Far too slow. Even with these out, he's moving slower than he does without the boots normally. But um, yeah, there's really not much more to say. It just looks really cool. I mean, you can go onto certain screens and it'll glitch out, like this one. It's now got the sprite of... I think it's like the Zoras? But it's like... No, it's not. It's a ghost, isn't it? It's a boo. Yeah, but it's like split in half, so it kind of looks a little bit like the Zoras. Well, just see if I can take it anywhere else. I'll try and go in a warp with it and see what happens then, because I really have no clue at all. Probably gonna lose it, but oh no, I think I'm definitely gonna lose it. Probably because there's stairs there. Um, let's just find out anyway. It's not really a big deal. Okay, yeah, I did lose it. Let's see if it's waiting for me. It probably isn't, but I do want to know. And this is a hundred percent fail. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say that <laughs> that this fail probably has the fourth warp active, but it actually doesn't. Because I, I, it wasn't actually. Oh, it does. All right, okay. You just go through them in a weird order. I thought you went to. That one after the Animal Village one, not after the Prairie one, but whatever, yeah, my, my raft is gone. So, the next thing that I want to show off is back in the village, and let me see, where am I? So, I'm up here, the village is all the way down in this area with the houses, so I'm going to get there with the Scream Warp glitch, just because, because it's fun. So, yeah, this is, it's... Sort of frame perfect. There's actually a bunch of frames that do oh, see, like I've got myself screwed here, so oh, never mind. There's a bunch of frames where the glitch will work, but only like the first two or three frames will actually be useful because if you do it any later than that, then he'll be like he won't be at the very edge of the screen anymore, he'll be slightly pushed back, which means that you can't do the glitch again if you're like merged with a wall or something like that. So I need to try and get it on the first frame every time, or the first or second frame, maybe the third one. See, like, you saw how he's kind of not at the edge of the screen right now when I brought up the map, so he's going to be... Yeah, there's like a little gap there, so if I was stuck in a wall, I'd be screwed. I wouldn't be able to move. But that one's fine. He's still at the edge there. He's not at the edge there. I need to get better at this. It's actually kind of a big deal later on in this video. Okay, so I think... I'm going to have to start heading south shortly. Oops, wow. Yeah, it's, like it brings enemies across with you sometimes as well. It's just one of the side effects of the glitch. I feel like I might have gone... Wow, what the fuck is that thing? But yeah, I've actually 
screwed myself over here, so I'm just going to have to save and quit. Go back into the file, and I'm back here. Well, whatever. We'll just take the warp. I'll uh, get to the prairie, and then I'll warp to where I want to go. To be honest, there isn't really much to show off along the way. The world doesn't really get too glitchy just from doing this. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to bother equipping the Pegasus boots. I can just warp back in like that. And another thing to note, actually, I'll show this off, is... Wow, that's really weird, actually. Okay, I want to know what happens if you win that warp. I've brought that with me, so let's see. Does it let you go in it? No, it doesn't. Okay, let's see if I can bring it onto a screen where I can definitely access, like, where it goes to. Um... Yeah, this one should work. No, no, it shouldn't. Yeah, I forgot that was going to happen. Well, whatever, it's okay. I'll just go back. So I guess I only really have one choice here, and it's to go up. Why have I got the bracelet out? Where's that going to put me? Okay, I... Uh, no. No. Yep, well, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, whatever, it probably wouldn't do anything anyway. It probably just took, like, the graphic. I think it's actually the... You know how there's, like, a pit under the warp? I think that's what needs to happen for you to actually activate it. Anyway. Um, actually, I want to go a little bit further south. I've got my cell locked again. God damn it, man. Probably should have practiced this. Oops. Uh, how'd you get with this? Probably should have practiced this a little bit before I started this, but... Yeah, it's just timing, really. So that's gonna work. Okay, whatever. I just wanted to show off that, like, if you enter a new area that has different music with the Scream Warp glitch, it actually retains the music from the first area. Until you've got a new screen, of course. But yeah. So, now that I'm back in the village, what I want to show off is... If you go up here and talk to the fisherman... This glitch doesn't involve the screen warp, but it is exclusive to the original version of the game. At least it's exclusive to the original revision of the original version of the game. But oddly enough, it also works in, like, the third revision? Like, it works in version 1.1. Uh, sorry, 1.0 and 1.2. It doesn't work in 1.1. I'll probably put a link in the description that shows you how to figure out your version, but it's not really as big of a deal in this game as it is in, like, Ocarina of Time. It's really weird that, um... 1.2 has some things, 1.1 doesn't. Anyway, so I'm going to say no here, and when he's done with his text here, I'm going to bring up A, B, Start and Select to bring up the menu. I'm just going to hit Return to Game, and it lets me walk around in this area now. This doesn't work in the DX version at all, or in 1.1 of this game. So this is just normal water, I can swim about in it like normal. But the real stuff that we want to see is over here. This is a raft shop, have I got myself stuck? I think I've got myself stuck. Yep. Well, I mean, this is kind of just like another doghouse kind of area. It's not really that interesting, to be honest. Oh god, where's this going to put me? Oh, whatever, right. It's not a big deal. Okay, so... There's actually another glitch with the fisherman that I also want to show off. Which is a little bit cooler. It's actually even more, more similar to the doghouse glitch, so... You know, when you do the screen warp, I mentioned that there's a couple of frames that work, you know, either you get it on the first frame and the things that are on the screen will come with you, or you get it in the second frame and they sort of, like, you'll see them sort of moving up the screen. They do come with you in that case, but they're sometimes in different parts of the screen. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but anyway, as you saw, I brought the fisherman with me. He's now stuck in a tree, so if I talk to him here and start his little game... It's going to put me in, like, a weird place, because you're never supposed to talk to him here. I want to know what happens. I should have probably brought him even further south in this, actually, but I don't think it makes much of a difference. As long as it's not on his normal screen, then it puts you in this weird place. It's a trendy game music as well. So, this is very doghouse-like. Um, so, yeah, we're at the raft shop again. It's the same kind of map that we were at before, when we did the save and quit thing. But, um, this time I'm able to move around more freely. So this is the dream house. Just need to make sure that I don't actually... Okay, let's open this. So I got a power bracelet. Did it upgrade it? No, it didn't. There is definitely a way to get, like, an L3 power bracelet in this game. I just can't remember what it is. I think it involves some screen warp on the overworld. Let's see, did that do it? No, it didn't. Alright, let's just keep going. I just want to find, like, a place that I can properly exit at. I also should point out that, like, 
doing this glitch, it's not as comfortable as it is in the DX version. There's a lot less things that you can sort of walk through. A lot of the things are more, but a lot more things are solid. Is what I'm trying to say. The stairs do still work, but unlike the DX version, it retains the music from before. But it is still fully functional now. It's like a normal place. So I actually am in the mountain area, as we'll see in just a second. So yeah, I'm now here, and let me think. Where do I want to go? South from here, I believe. So, yeah, I want to go back to... Do I want to go back? Yeah, okay, I'm going to show off one last thing in this file. So I'm going to head back to the village for that. Oh, that's not good. No, that's bad. Okay, that's going to put me back at the... No, I keep doing that. Like, I hate files that aren't on file 1. It's just a nightmare trying to select them. Alright, so the last thing that I want to show off is what happens if you do the doghouse glitch in the original version of the game. The short answer is, it does work, but uh, it's not it's not as good, basically, as it is in the DX version. It's just not as, um, like I mentioned earlier, there's um, a lot less things that you can walk through, which is kind of a problem. I'm actually just going to fall in this pit, apparently. I mean, I should be, like, directly above the prairie right now, so we'll just do this. See, I'm starting to get the timing down a little bit better now, which is going to be very useful later on. Oh god, no. Actually, one more should do it. I should be okay now, yeah. Alright, so... Just jump in here. So, I'm going to kill a bunch of enemies, and these things do count, as I mentioned, if you can kill them. So that's one, and uh, there's another one on the screen, actually, I can kill that. Don't talk to me. Alright, so that's him dead. So if I enter the doghouse now, you know, it starts out pretty much the same. You can go down here, but um, you can't move further south. I mean, you can if you go, like, over here, I guess. I don't know, it's just a lot more limited. I'm trying to recreate what I did before, but the game does not really want to cooperate. Uh, let's see what's in this chest. Oh, another part. Well, it just seems to be the placeholder item in all of these chests. Let's see if it gives me an upgrade now. Answer, almost certainly not. Yep. Alright, well, let's just see if I can actually... No, yeah, that's another thing that happens in this version of the game. You get jumped down like that quite a lot. I just want to see if I can access the Windfish's Egg like this. So far, I seem to be getting up alright. Oh, no, yeah, that's right, that was the problem. Oh, never mind. Damn, it actually does work, okay. Uh, okay, maybe it doesn't work. Let's see, can I go... No. Just carefully going up. I mean, if I go high enough, then surely, even if he falls down, he should land inside it, right? Oh, come on, dude. They really don't want you to do this in this version, do they? Right, okay, let's get the feather out and see if that makes it any easier. Nope. It definitely doesn't. You'd, you'd think I'd be able to touch the loading zone. Okay, I need to be a little bit higher. No, it just doesn't let you. Oh well. Not that it matters, because the next thing that I'm going to show off is actually how to beat the game really quickly in this version of the game. It's quite different from how we do it in the DX one. It's also a bit harder, I mean, not the actual method to get to the boss, but the the way that you have to kill him, I would say, is definitely harder, and we'll see why that is pretty soon. So yeah, text like this. Text, I guess, that the game deems important by, like, main characters you can never, ever skip. But one another interesting little change, actually, between this version and the DX one is that the shield text is different here. It says something about flipping enemies, which they changed for some reason. I don't know. Weird. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly get down to the beach. Stand about here, I think. Should be able to just screen warp my way down there pretty easily. Yep, no hassle at all. Okay. So, I could go and get the sword. Not going to do that. I'm going to try and bring it to the next screen with me. No, that's not going to work. 
As you can see, I was too late with that. Oh, I keep thinking I've got the sword equipped. I'm pressing E to try and kill these things. Alright. Okay, so it came that time, which means I can collect it without talking to the owl, which is always something I enjoy. Not that it really matters too much, because in a second I'm going to have to talk to him anyway. But yeah. Obviously going to need this to fight the final boss. So it's good that I got it. And what happens if you go back to this screen is there's now a shield there. Now that's a special shield. And I'm going to actually bring that with me as well. And try and collect that on this screen. And the owl now comes to you. And he has some Taran's text, I believe. Is it Taran's text? I don't know. I think it is. But I can pick this up and it's actually a level 0 shield, which is exactly the same as level 1 shield, but it's invisible. It still works, you can still use it, but... Yep, it's invisible. And it's really cool. So I'm going to keep that with me for the rest of this playthrough. I could go and get that and the owl would give me his normal text, which I'm not going to listen to. It would just give me another level 0 shield, so who cares. So what I'm going to do now is... If I bring up the menu just like this, you can see I'm almost at the bottom. So if I screen warp to the next one... I'll be at the very, very bottom of the map. So, let's do that. And from here I can just hold down and he'll jump down into this area like that, which now, if I just bring up the menu again, you can see I'm now at the very top of the map in the Tal Tal Heights region. So, I can just enter this. This is Dungeon 8. I'll just bring up the Save and Quit menu to get back to the entrance of the dungeon, because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to warp down past this entrance here. And this is going to take me to... Eventually it's going to take me to like where the boss room is for the end of the game because a lot of things are connected in this, like a lot of the dungeons are connected on the same map, so let's just get on with that. So the next screen warp that I do is going to actually put me inside the boss room, but I'm not going to stop there. Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> so I actually went into the room but didn't do the screen warp, I was too late with my select press, but it's okay because I saved and quit in the dungeon so it's fine. Can just reset if that happens. Okay, so this worked because it's brought up the, the little menu and the text that starts at the start of the fight. I'm just going to press B to cancel it. I'm going to screen warp again. Here I'm just going to pop down and then I'm going to screen warp upwards this time. And again, it's going to bring up the text again. So that's twice that I've been through the room now. Screen warp again. And I'm going to hang about in this room for just a second. I feel it makes the boss a little bit easier if you wait for this guy a little bit. I mean, he actually is fully functional, but I'm not going to kill him. He's stuck up there as well, so I'm going to scream warp once more. And now I'm going to actually try and fight it, and you'll notice that there's actually two versions of the boss here. Which is a bit of a hassle with Aghanim. Where's the other one? Oh, he's like right behind him. Why did that not hit it though? Why? I really don't understand that, like I did that spin attack and everything. I mean, I hit it with my sword. So it is actually possible to kill him quite quickly. You can like use the, the attack from the second one to hit the first one as well, but it's kind of hard to do. Oh, I got it twice there. Nice. So he should only have one more hit left. Just need to hope I don't get the bad one. Well, I got one good and one bad, and I got hit. Nice, cool. Ugh, that's bad. Yeah, it's probably not a big deal. Out of the way. Okay, so hopefully that's him dead, right? I mean, it should be. Okay, it is. So now... Oh, the other one's still there. Okay. So, okay, it just goes straight to Ganon. This is, like, so crazy. So you can kill him just as normal. He does bring his bats out, so I'm just gonna avoid them carefully. He only has one set of bats in this. So eventually he will... I, mean, I think there is like another Ganon but he's off screen so he's now stuck in this position by the way. He'll never move again so I can just batter him with my sword. Just need to watch out for those things. Alright, he's got to be almost dead now. It's crazy how Ganon's like one of the hardest ones in there in the DX version, but in this, he's like so easy. So just one spin attack on this will kill it. And here comes the reason that this is so bloody difficult. There's like two of these things as there was in the DX one. But um it's like so laggy that I'm, I'm almost confident I'm gonna die here. There's a text box there. Um But yeah, if you can make it onto the stairs without getting hit. 
and can actually get out, which I can't do, then you would beat the game. But I'm not going to go through the whole boss fight again just to show that off. I think having it on the game over screen is an appropriate stopping point for this playthrough. I've had a lot of fun with it. It's probably been one of the favourite ones and I'm glad that it seems to have been well received. So I will see you in my next playthrough. Thank you all for watching and yeah, I'll see you later.